this is the flight story all about Dolly helping her to a new life. But first, I have to give a heartfelt thanks to our major Patreon supporters who helped support this video. Thank you so very much. Dolly was found in an Elizabethtown, North Carolina shelter. Little was known about her, except that she was very young, she was shy, she had a... Obviously, she had faced some traumas. She was also heartworm positive. She was scared of everything. We'll go on that side over there. No, take her in. But as you can see, after the loving care of Frances Flowers and her husband Anthony and their daughter Olivia, Dolly turned into a completely different dog. And what and a then sweetheart. I got head and stuff. Yep. Yeah. We got to get her head headset on her. <laughs> oh, oh, the headset. Oh. All right, if you want to hand her up. Okay, I'll get her. Here. Yeah. I'll okay. get that later. <laughs> yeah, we'll have some time as we get her. Yeah. Okay, you'll be okay. Say, hey, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. Good girl, Dolly. Oh, it's okay. Your mama and daddy love you. Can I rub her? Yeah, she can rub her here. Still right there. I can't pull it. Come here, Olivia. Come here. Here she can. You want to hold her up? Okay, here, Olivia. Here. You want to rub her? Give her a big kiss. Dolly says, bye. I love you. Say love you. Love you. You're a pilot dog. Yes, you are. You're a pilot dog. Yeah, you're going to be just fine. You're just going to be fine, fine, fine. Hang on, girl. This is the way to vibrate you. Good morning, clearance delivery, Compassion 431. Compassion flight 431, live clearance through to the Foxtrot South Secure Airport via the Raleigh 7 departure direct. On departure maintains 2,000. Click 5,000 one minutes after. Departure frequency 132.35, block 5344. Raleigh 7 departure direct 2,000, expect 5,010. 132.35, 5344 in the box. And Compassion 431, we're back to straight. Thank you. And Dolly settled right into the plane. Mary Margaret, who was our in-flight volunteer on this trip, put Dolly's hearing protectors on her and waved goodbye as we taxied out towards the runway. It was going to be about an hour or so flight, hour and a half flight up to Frederick, Maryland, where we were taking her. That was the plan, at least, until air traffic control had us vectored all around. In the end, it took about two hours. Compassion, we put 431 early ground, runway 23 left, taxi via Juliet Alpha 8. Juliet Alpha 8, 23 left. The rescue world is a big world with lots of small cogs in it. And it's people like Plato Pet Treats and Smiling Dog Coffee Company who are just amazing and deserve your praise and visiting them to find the many fabulous products that they offer. They donate gifts, pet treats and coffee to us that we then give as gifts to the rescues and the pilots that we meet. And without them, giving those rewards and just giving everybody a pat on the back, it would just be a little bit less special. Compassion 431, really tired. Good morning, sir. You ready to go? Uh, ready to go, 431. Flight 431, runs around 23 left, turn right, heading 310, 12407, clear for takeoff. All right, uh, 23 left, heading 310, clear for takeoff, 41. And away we go. It was a beautiful day, blue skies, and the flight itself was pretty much uneventful. Here we are taking off out of Raleigh, North Carolina. You know, Dolly was really lucky because... Not long before this flight, Margaret and Stuart Mayberry, who are longtime Pointer fans and owners in the New Haven, Connecticut area, had applied to adopt Dolly. They were probably the most qualified, but the least likely that you would think that would adopt Dolly, who was a rescue dog. They were American Pointer trainers, 
and had shown a, a number of dogs over the years. Sadly, they had just lost one of their pointers due to an illness, and it just happened that she had looked a lot like Dolly. And they fell in love with Dolly's picture on the American Pointer Rescue website. But they were willing to keep working with her on her leash shyness and would be happy just to have her around the house. They were the adopters that were perfect for her, but the American Pointer Rescue never thought they would find such a loving couple. We had a lot of time to look out the window on the way, and we all did. Dolly jumped up from time to time just to look at the mountainsides and the, the land below. Beautiful sights, blue skies, as we headed up towards the Appalachian Mountains and then took a right turn towards Frederick, Maryland. Here we are arriving in Frederick, Maryland, getting ready to land where we're going to meet up with Dean and his friend Frank, who are going to pick up Dolly and another dog, and they're going to fly further north. This is how things work in the dog rescue world. We Oftentimes we meet up at airports and we exchange dogs and they keep moving on up or down or across the country till they get to their final destinations. After we landed, we made the long taxi up where we parked the plane. Nice thing about the harness, we can think it's easier to get her out this yeah. way. All right, sweetie, time right, to go. Time to go. Time to go. I got it. Okay. It's okay, girl. Woohoo! Woohoo! If you'd like to volunteer as an in flight cuddler, well, just visit our website at pilot.dog. Frederick Airport is also the home of the Aircraft Owners of Pilots Association headquarters and that happens to be one of their buildings right there. For pilots it's kind of like going to uh, pilot Mecca and too bad it was a weekend otherwise I would have stopped in. I am a proud member of AOPA by the way. <laughs> Once we got Dolly inside we gave her some water and uh, she was just chillaxing in there while we waited for Dean and Frank to show up. I mean, look at her now. Remember that video we saw of her in the beginning? She was baring her teeth and had her tail tucked between her legs. Well, now she's loving people. She's good with strangers. And she just wanted to cuddle with Mary Margaret, even though we were sitting at the airport waiting for her next flight. While we were waiting there, we got a chance to meet Coco, who was an eight-year-old poodle with just really bad cataracts. And Coco was gonna fly north with Dolly and Dean and uh, get some treatment. Here's Frank kneeling down and Dean, the pilot of the next leg. That's Dean's plane. Nice looking plane, Dean. Keep up the good work, man. And here's our friends that we met up there who are waving goodbye to us. After lunch with friends that I hadn't seen in a long time, we got back in the plane and it was time to make the hopefully hour and a half flight back to Raleigh, which didn't turn out to be an hour and a half by any means because we got routed all around Washington, D.C. and then back and forth across the Chesapeake Bay several times and then even over Baltimore. You'll see some of those pictures in just a moment. Mary Margaret and I spent a lot of time on the way back just looking out the window and just enjoying the view. Uh, we must have spent just an hour not talking to each other, just staring out the window. We were both kind of exhausted and tired. November 431, contact departure. Have a safe flight. Uh, thank you so much. See you later. Here we are over the Chesapeake Bay. We even flew right over the Bay Bridge, but this is a uh, part of downtown Baltimore and uh, another part of the Baltimore Harbor down there. Oh yeah, there's the Chesapeake Bay Bridge that I just mentioned and Kent Island is off to the left. And then flash forward 
And here we are landing back in Raleigh, North Carolina, back home again after a long but successful trip. Engineer 15, got a departure slow. That's uh, 431, turn right the next taxiway, make the next taxiway to output. Ah. Well, another Go successful point. mission under our belt. Yeah, next taxiway, 2819. And there we are, fueling the plane, and just happy we did it. You can be a part of our dog rescue team. Just visit us at pilot.dog and become a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month. You can set a cap on how much you want to give each month. It doesn't matter. Any amount helps. Please help us save dogs.